God will keep his, his covenant according to Numbers chapter 23, verse 19. Read it when you get some time. Numbers 23, 19 says something like this. Um, it says, God is not a man. Uh, that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. If he said it, shall he not do it? And if he spoke it, shall he not make it good? Numbers 23, um, verse 19. God keeps his covenant. Somebody say you can depend on God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The covenant blessing we found out is inescapable. If if one sowed a life of faith unto God, um, then his or her ancestors will reap a harvest of God's faithfulness um, to his or her seed. In other words, what you do in being faithful to God right now uh, is not just about you, but it is also about your ancestry. Uh, that the same way maybe your ancestors sowed a negative seed and you're having to live that uh, if they sowed a positive seed yeah you'll get the benefits of that I shared in our last teaching that the reality is that some of us right here are living by somebody else's relationship with God uh, because you know that you have not been living that holy uh, you know that you have not been living that righteous you know you haven't been doing that much right stuff but some mama some grandmama some aunt your mama had a relationship with God and because they had a relationship with God you are riding on the graces of somebody else's knee bone relationship somebody else learned how to go on their knees and pray and because they went on their knees and pray you can walk straight up in a job that you ain't even qualified for because somebody else went down in Nebone Valley. You get to live standing up on the mountain because somebody else had a relationship with God. Somebody who did not even have the ability to go anything farther than fourth grade has now gone into a relationship speaking broken language to God but having a prayer life with him so that now you've got paid for scholarships living in a time when you can get full grants because somebody else paid a price. Oh, I wish somebody in here could understand that you are living here yeah, by a covenant relationship of somebody else. Everybody has not heard it, but some of you have heard grandmamas and aunt mamas on their deathbed saying, uh, uh, I prayed for you, boy. Yeah, I prayed for you, girl. Yeah, promise me that you'll find Jesus in time. Yeah, somebody under the sound of my voice right now has heard that a grandparent a parent somebody somewhere had prayed for you to be able to make it somebody was praying Lord whatever you do don't let me close my eyes and not see my baby saved somebody has been praying to God and said don't let me die without seeing my daughter off of the strip somebody made a covenant with God saying Lord if you give them to me I'll give them right back to you you're trying to figure out why you can't go no crazier than you are why is it that every time you try to do what everybody else does something starts troubling you why is it that when you are at the same age and the same ilk of other people that when you try to do what your friends and your peers are doing they can get away with it and it troubles you it is because some grandmama's prayers somebody has been praying for you and even though you didn't know it the blood is still speaking they're dead and buried but their blood is saying Lord remember me because I made a covenant relationship with you and that's why the car crashed and you walked away from it and that's why the crazy stuff happened and you're still here that's why you did more drugs than somebody else they did one time and ain't got it right yet and you just got clean and now you're still more sane than they are that's why they got text one time and was pregnant with with a disease and you've been sexing all your life and ain't caught nothing yet it's because a grandmama a mama somewhere set up a covenant relationship
relationship with God and said, if my child is too crazy to know the right thing to do, then God, for my sake, cover them till they get it together. Somebody holler, Lord, cover me. See, I'll give God a real good praise right here. I feel a sermon working on me. I feel God wanting to do something with somebody in here. I feel a revelation of what you've been through coming to the forefront of your mind. And somebody is recognizing that I'm still here. But it ain't because I've been so good. But it is because somebody prayed for me. Had me on their mind. Took the time to pray for me. I'm so glad that they prayed. So glad they prayed. So glad they prayed. Shout glory in this place right now.